Hi, stunning fan, it's Michelle here. Welcome back to our channel, and if you're new here, please take time to like and subscribe. Today we're making dog treats out of everyday household staples from my kitchen. First, I took an over-ripened banana, who likes to eat those, a single serving container of unsweetened applesauce, scraped that all out, then I found a few carrots in my fridge that were a bit too dry for my taste. And last, I added some chicken scraps that I had boiled up in a cup of water to create some unsalted chicken stock. I'm a fanatic about trimming all the fat and the veins out of my chicken before I use it, whether it be breast or thighs. So I take those less desirable parts and I boil them up and repurpose them into dog treats for my dog, Winston. Then I blended it all up in my Pampered Chef blender till it was the consistency of a smoothie. Once everything was pulverized and smooth, I poured that thick, ooey gooey substance into a gallon sized Ziploc bag. Then I squeezed out all the air and sealed the bag to use it just like a frosting bag. Before I cut the tip though, I laid out all of my dehydrator fruit, fruit roll trays so I could move quickly once I cut the tip off the corner of the bag. Then I squeezed the mixture onto the trays as evenly as possible. At first I simply was tapping and shaking the trays to try and get them even, but I started to realize that wasn't working it started going over the edge. So I resorted to spreading it out with a spatula and then tapping it out. Um, this was much more successful. Um, I set my dehydrator to 160 degrees and dehydrated the treats for five to six hours till it was completely dry. Then, once they were dry, I broke them up into bite-sized wafers that I could store in my refrigerator in a cute labeled mason jar. I really like the idea of knowing that I can take household scraps out of my own kitchen and I can know exactly what's going into our dog's treats. Well, Sarah decided that she was going to be a really brave volunteer and actually give one of these homemade treats a taste test so that you can see a reaction. So here's Sarah. So Sarah's going to try our doggy wafers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little bitter. It's bitter? Yeah. I mean, it tastes the banana. You do? It's uh -oh. like a... It's like a bitter banana. Ew. That's hard. <laughs>